Yo, yo, what is up, YouTube? It is the Junkie, and I'm back with another another video on how I collect. Um, so, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers, or people that collect Blu-ray movies and stuff on YouTube, and I saw that they all had their movies in, like, these little plastic bags. Now, for us comic book collectors, these would be the same as, like, a poly bag um, for movies. So I'm going to show you how I do it, what I do, and also um, a way for me to kind of keep some of my DVDs and an easy and a easy and cheap way to kind of keep your DVDs and your Blu-ray if you have if you've double double dipped and um, it can save you some money and save you some space. So first off, I use these little bags here, um, resealable polypropylene bags um, but I did make a mistake I got these here and they do fit a standard blu-ray case as you can see here and uh, so I'm gonna try to put my whole entire collection in these bags including my DVDs um, it'll be a slow process because I'm close to 2900 movies total in my collection so it's going to take a while. So I ordered 500 of these, and they do fit um, the standard Blu-ray case pretty snug. They do not fit the Blu-rays or steel books that have or steel uh, Blu-rays that have slip covers or steel books. So um, I did a little research on YouTube, and I found out that you have to get uh, the DVD bags like these, but made for DVD, and they fit. The ones with slip covers and they also fit steel books so I have some of them coming to try them out but I really do enjoy these little bags um, and you ask why would you want to put your movies in these little bags for me it would keep the cases looking nice because you know as you slide them in and out they get scuffed especially your your movies with slip covers you know you don't want your slip cover getting all scratched up and uh, so for me it would be like the same as like putting the comic in a comic book bag and board to protect it, um, to keep it lasting longer. Dust, to keep dust from settling inside the case, keeping the tops to keep clean. And just, you know, as a collector, it's another way for me to like prolong the life of my movies. So there's that. So these are pretty cheap. You can find these varying prices. You can get them without, that are not resealable, and the ones that are resealable. I like the ones that are resealable. Um... Yeah, and if ever the seal is not adhesive anymore, you can always use tape and seal it. Okay, so another issue I ran into was having movies, and I've done probably 100 movies so far in these little bags, and, and I, I, I enjoy them. I like them. So another issue that I ran into was um, I'm not going to upgrade all my DVDs to Blu-rays, just some. Uh, so, in order to save space, because, you know, for collectors, whether it's comics, movies, whatever it is, action figures, the issue we have is space. So, um, there are some movies I'm going to double dip on, and then I'm going to upgrade the DVD to Blu-ray, but I necessarily don't want to get rid of the DVD. So, what I did was, is I went on eBay and I bought these used. Now, I got these cheap... Um, but they are the double disc holders, where you can hold a disc on each side. So what I've done is, the movies that, um, the Blu-rays that I have that only have a single disc, what I've done is, is I bought a bunch of these, I bought like 30 of them, just to try them out, see how I like them. Now, now granted, I only paid $21 for, or no, $30, a dollar, basically a dollar piece. But they are used, so that's something you're going to have to take into consideration if you don't want them used, you can buy them new. They're more expensive. They're like 2 to $3 each if you wanted them new. You can find deals on eBay for used ones for a lot cheaper, for about a dollar a piece, $1.25. I really don't mind the used ones, so I bought, I bought a bunch of used ones. Like I said, I bought 30 of them. And what I've done is, is I've taken the DVD, taken the DVD out of the case, put it on this side, put my Blu-ray, switched the artwork, and this way I'm able to keep the DVD of the movie and have the Blu-ray and save space. So, like I said, I'm kind of new to collecting 
movies, so this is something new for me. So I know a lot of you, you know, older movie collectors that are watching my videos, they may watch my videos, are like, oh, I've been doing that for a long time. But for me, it's new, and for people that watch my channel mainly for the comics and that may want to decide to get into movies, I always make these how-to videos or um, videos on how to help help collectors. So this is my contribution to them. So, but yeah, if you if you wanted to be able to keep your movies, your DVDs and your Blu-rays, and what I've done is the DVD cases, the ones that are in good shape, I keep them and I switch them out with some of the DVD cases that I have that are beat up. And I keep my single, um, like here's a single one. I know this is a cheaper version, but I keep the single Blu-ray cases too, just in case, you know, I get a case in that's messed up, or if I find some Blu-rays on eBay cheap, um, that I, you know, like B-rated horror movies that I can get for like a couple bucks. And, you know, a lot of times the listing will say, just the, just the movie and the artwork, no case. I have extra spare cases so I can put them in. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's a how-to, how I collect movies. I really do enjoy these little bags. They're super cool. And, uh, you know, just like my comic book collection, I like keeping my movies in pristine condition. And keep them as nice as I can. Because uh, these will be with me forever, so... Um, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, thumbs up. And like I said, you can find all this stuff cheap on eBay. You just gotta do a little research. And, uh... Anyways, guys, it is a junkie, and I am out. Peace.